And 75 day. What's up, guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408. Guess what? New truck. Just kidding. But I am going to pick up a new truck in an hour. So, got a 2021. But for now, swing it by my favorite store and pick up a few things. Get ready. I can fresh. I do love this truck, but it's time for a freshie. I like having a new one every year. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna change the color too. Go. <laughs> Freshy screwdrivers. Pull the soon. What do we need? What do we need? Definitely a new hose. I like this one. An old 50 footer. Maybe a filler full of gas and do another uh, another flamethrower. Some Gorilla tape, of course. Freshy extension cord. Yep. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? As always, my favorite aisle. Pick up some straps. Got some for the boys this time for their side by sides. Oh, we got some little guys on sale. Half price. Sure. Mini little torch. Half price. Sure. What else we need? What else to get? <laughs> Some gloves. Little welding gloves. Ah, this is Jay's aisle. Jay's specialty aisle. And some wrenches. Sure. Ooh, some soccer wrenches. Some ratchet wrenches. All right, let's get out of here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that thing. I've had white the last couple of years. Well, this one's kind of off-white. Platinum's been coming. Or truck white. But it's been pretty good, but I'm changing it up for this time. So, anyways. It's a saddle. Good times. Let's roll. Get some lunch in the truck. Out with the old, in with the freshy. This is her. Look at it, 2021 F-150 Platinum. Game changer. Pretty much has all the same stuff as this one. A little better, obviously. The seats go all the way down, flat. These are adjustable. It's got the full screen. I'm back to the sunroof life. I'm not a big sunroof guy, but we're making it happen. That goes down. I guess it's got to be on. And this goes forward, obviously. I think it's got to be on to do that. And then uh, we got the tonneau cover. All the usual stuff. So I'm just going to transfer everything over. And we'll go for a rep. Let's do this. Loving this thing already. I already got it filled full of crap. <laughs> got to go home and empty it all out. We'll take it back Sunday. Got some freshy tint on the windows, so I can't open those. But... See if I can squeeze out of here. Apparently it's 50 more horsepower than my old one. Oh yeah, let's see if I can scratch up the rims. Let's roll. Made it to the farm. First drive complete. This truck is 100% different than the 2020, that's for sure. Uh, first thing I noticed, obviously it's new. Brakes are like, you just barely touch them when you hit them. But the lane assist it is very sensitive. I don't know if you can turn it up or down. I, obviously, I haven't played with the settings yet. But uh, the lane keep is amazing. Like, it keeps it right in the middle. So it does, you know, ding if you do take your hand off the steering wheel for a little bit. But uh, and then when I shut it off, it says, check rear seat for occupants. And there's a baby seat. But yeah, 360 camera is pretty amazing, too. It uh, shows definitely a bigger view. It's a bigger screen as well. And we have a camera up here. 
So the 2020 did not have that. Um, another thing, the tonneau cover. On the 2020, you had to lift it up to shut the tailgate. This one, obviously, you don't. These are packages that were just left on the driveway by the delivery guy. So I'll open up those up in a bit. Got my dirty old hitch on the back. Dirty old bitch. Um, yeah, this is nice. You just walk up, kick it, drop kick it, and it comes out. Or if you just walk up with the key, it comes down to I don't have the key in my pocket. It's still inside. So, um, yeah. Vent are neat. Needle mosquito. Definitely love in the front end. It's a lot sharper, that's for sure. And the uh, LED lights. So I'm going to clean some of the crap out of here. I just kind of dumped everything in from uh, the old truck. I even took my old floor mats, even though they're pretty dirty. It's nice you got cup holders up here, too. Fords, they're meant for touring with all the drinks, apparently. You got two there. Two in each door. Well, I guess this one really isn't a cup holder, but well, I don't know. It'll fit something. So you got two, four, six, eight, and then uh, what else we got? Ah, 10, 12, 14, if you include that little one too. If you're wondering why this is in here, the dentist told me to. Said, wash your mouth more, floss more. I'm like, I floss four times a day. But yeah, this little speaker I found is a little loud. Kind of hurts my ear. And there's speakers in the headrest as well. And uh, these are cool. They adjust forward a little bit. So, and these seats actually fold flat, which is very nice if you feel like having a snooze. It still smells new too. The, the muffler I can smell. She's burning. All right, let's get this thing cleaned out. And what do we got? This random package from Oxbeam. They were supposed to send two whips and two whips for all the guys and they sent one whip. <laughs> oh dear. And what do we got in here? Ox beam box. Okay. It's a little, all the different buttons for all your different lights. Kind of useless though, because I only have one whip. So I'm not going to install that obviously until the second one comes. Lots of paper with Chinese writing on it. Okay, and we got this box. The duty box. I love paying duty. Anything that comes from the U.S. to Canada, you have to pay duty on, even if you didn't pay for it. So we got some freshy gear from Steel. Some branch chains, my favorite, Fruit Punch. What else we got? Ooh, kiwi, strawberry kiwi. Nice, kiwi strawberry. And all the samples that always come. What else we got? COQ10, interesting. The old probiotic, take those every day. And the old one a days, the vitamin. Good to go, thank you, Steel. If you guys need a discount code for any Steel products, there's one below, check it out. Other than that, yeah, I'm loving this truck. Huh. So weird when you get a new truck for the first like day or two, you're just not used to it. Especially this color, I'm not, uh, I've had white for the past, you know, four years, five years, so. Definitely loving her, especially that front end, it looks so mean. So mean, what do you guys think of it? I got her cleaned out, I took everything out, well, not everything. I keep posters in here for, for some people, so. Got a poster, I got Minoko. Baseball glove, you know, some mass, and an air pump. And yeah, a little blanket if you ever want to snuggle. And I got some, I don't know why I have 40 lighters in here, but I always bring one down when we're using the flamethrower, and then for some reason they just all collect. So, yeah. All right. That's, uh, we're going to load up the trailer, take it over to Coop's house. He's the one with the Lamborghini. I don't know if you guys remember that. Oh beat me to it. I was going to kick it and it went up. But yeah, he's got the Lambo, so the trailer needs some aluminum welding done to it, so he's going to help me out and get that done. So that's where we're headed next. Just waiting for Zan to come back. He's got some, some troughs on the trailer that we need to take off, so let's do it. Truck got our first pull. I just yanked that, that one and this one off. <laughs> sure! Sure! Ugh. 
So this is the fun part about aluminum trailers. They just shake themselves apart. Look at this. <laughs> Stupid removable fenders. Removable junk. You got all the freshies. Look at those things. <laughs> Still smells new. Pretty fancy. So this is how you change the drive mode now. So I just have an eco. Change her over to sport, aka party mode. Oh, apparently I'm trying to shift in the four. No, nope, stand two. <laughs> uh, pretty neat. Got a trailer on right now. Loving this truck, so many different features. So I realized if I open the door, no, nope, it's not doing it. When I was at the barn, see if I can do it now. So if you put it in drive, Nope. Anyways, um, yeah, if you open the door when it was in drive, it would automatically slide forward in the park. Obviously a safety feature, so. Figuring out the features as we go. I might turn this onto the uh, turbo boost gauge. You can obviously customize all the gauges. I think I've stumbled into a, a tough neighborhood. Better lock the doors. <laughs> All right, we got the trailer all welded up. Just polished up that. This is the welds that Action Trailer put on. <laughs> oh. Look at this fender though. Oh. Hopefully your welds look a little better. <laughs> uh, we are looking good. Note to self, never buy a trailer with removable fenders. Discovering new features by the minute on this thing. So if you don't have your fog lights on, when you turn left or right, it turns them on. So it lights up the corners for you. How handy is that? <laughs> All right, let's get home. So one more thing I'm noticing when I'm driving, there's two infrared sensors. There's one here. You can't really see it uh, without the camera iPhones don't have an infrared filter on the front, so and then there's one here just to the left of the uh, cluster. So I'm wondering if that's for you know in the fall when the come when uh, Ford comes out with the self-driving mechanism. One thing I did wish they would have left in these trucks is uh, how you could change all the ambient lighting. Now it's just kind of the ice blue. My uh, couple couple trucks ago, you could change it from red to blue to all the colors. Anyways, a couple thoughts. All right, I had my first full night with the truck. First 100 kilometers put on it. Just burning gas and hauling ass. This is definitely the best truck that Ford has ever made. Um, it's night and day, even from my 2020, from last year even. Uh, just the features are alone insane. I could go on and on. I'm still figuring them out, but I did uh, yeah, have my first long drive last night and uh, noticed a lot of things, so. Um, and I also was just playing on the uh, screen there. You can change settings and features for days. But uh, the one thing I like is when you shut it off, it reminds you to check your back seat. You know, if you left your kids or Brad or a case of beer back there, don't forget that. Um, another setting I really like is when your um, fog lights aren't on and you turn left or right, they, uh, they light up. So it's nice if you're coming around the corner, they light up the corner for you. Um, the cruise control adaptive uh, lane keep assist there is pretty insane too. It's a lot more sensitive than last year's model and uh, it definitely keeps you in the lane a lot better. I, uh, it did alert me a lot so I just turned that off so I'm going to test that out to see if it's uh, any, any crazy difference. But uh, yeah, let's grab the key here. Another feature I like is when you walk up the, the running boards come out and then if you want them to go back up, well they go up automatically, but if you want them to go up you can just kick them. And 
line though it's nice that the running board is longer so if you need to step up into the box or grab something out you can so i do like the interior a lot better especially right here this is like a nice soft suede or whatever you call it and uh just had the windows tinted so that's what that is but yeah it's like more of a uh lighter brown color rather than the uh, red one so and uh I've also been playing with the tailgate too. The tailgate's electric, so you can either press a button right here to drop it, or you can do it on your on your key fob. So I had to go into the settings and change it. It wasn't actually turned on. So we're just getting so lazy these days. <laughs> <laughs> and by the end of the year, apparently they were coming out with the full cruise control, auto drive, whatever they want to call it. I call it the Tesla mode and it will drive itself apparently. So it is, I don't know what it's going to cost, but it is a bit of a, it's just a hardware upgrade. It already has all the sensors on it, like, you know, all those. I, uh, I noticed this sensor last night, actually. There's an infrared sensor right here. And uh, there's one on the dash. So I'm guessing that's what that is for. But Make, make sure you're awake and yeah, in the seat. Hands on the wheels. So. <laughs> Other than that, I love this truck. It's a beautiful truck. I wanted to switch it up from white, as you can see, I went to silver. And uh, yeah, everything is amazing. See, there you go. <laughs> I'm <laughs> nice. standing too close with the key. So I wonder if I lost it. Uh, there you go. But uh, yeah, highly recommended. I did drive the. <laughs> <laughs> I did drive the limited as well. It is also uh, super nice. Um, I've always had a platinum. The Platinums are pretty top model and basically come with everything. Uh, the Limited isn't much different. I, yeah, I really honestly didn't notice a difference other than, you know, it has a Limited badge and it has a serial number on it. So if you're in the, if, you want, if you're shopping for a nicer, higher model truck, I would highly recommend the Platinum and uh, definitely get a tonneau cover because then you can lock your stuff in the back. Mark your kids back there too if they're bad. Anyways, we're gonna wrap this one up. We're gonna do some snowmobiling. It did snow this morning uh, in town. Uh, here it doesn't look like it snowed at all. So I got, I don't know, maybe half an inch, but most of it's melted. But yeah, figure hit the river once more before uh, the river really drops and the, the stones start to pop out. And then hopefully by next week, the track will start drying up and we'll be able to do some car stuff. Maybe we'll take this mudding. We'll see. Oh. We'll see. <laughs> We're just driving through fire. I don't know. You can't get pickup trucks muddy. Come on. <laughs> They're okay. not made for that. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day. Get yourself a Ford. Swing over to Courtesy Ford. And uh, see the guys there. We'll see you guys later.